everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a subdomain inside of cPanel for your website for your website and using your web hosting account. So first off, I've got our web hosting packages here on the screen and so um, this specific video I'm going to be using the Business Cloud to um, demonstrate, but if you have the Starter Plus Turbo, um, it's all the, pretty much the same on how to set up a subdomain. All of our web hosting packages allow for unlimited subdomains. Now, a subdomain basically means it is before your domain. So like right up here at the top, name hero, so www. Instead of that, it would be whatever your subdomain is. So maybe it's um, you know holidays.namehero.com, um, you know, admin.namehero.com. And so most often people will use subdomains for subsections of their website. Um, a good example would be our blog at Name Hero. It's not on a subdomain, but it would be a good thing to put on a subdomain to where it could be blog.namehero.com. Um, if you're a reseller web host, sometimes they'll do um, billing. Um, whatever namehero.com for their billing system. If you have a discussion forum, forum. Whatever your domain is. Com. So subdomains are very beneficial in the fact that they help separate those subsections of your sites. So if you want to install um, a second copy of WordPress, you know maybe you're running WordPress to power your website, but you want a second copy just to power your blog. You know so it's completely separate from your main site. Uh, that's one of the big reasons we see. You can actually create email accounts at subdomains too. So if I wanted to have um, you know, my email like ryan at something.namehero.com, maybe like corporate or inc.namehero.com, I could do that. Um, so I'll show you how to do it. It's super simple on how to set it up, but first off I need to log into my account. So if you're following along, feel free to get um, logged in. So I have my credentials here. Okay, my password and my two-factor. If you don't have two-factor on and you're watching this, please enable it. Super important to keep things safe. All right, so now I'm in my Name Hero account and I need to navigate to um, cPanel because that's where I'm gonna be doing the uh, subdomain. So I get there by going to My Cloud and I'm going to be using my uh, business cloud account. I've got a couple different accounts for my demo. Okay, so from inside of here, I just want to go to log into cPanel, and I can do it here, or I can do it here. All right, so from inside of here, I need to go to subdomains. So you'll see if I just type in sub, I've got domains, subdomains, and dynamic DNS, subdomains. Okay, so you'll see I already have a subdomain inside of here. This is because I have an add-on domain set up. So an add-on domain is separate than a subdomain, but an add-on domain creates a subdomain. So I've got a video tutorial on YouTube about how to add another domain to your web hosting account. So if that's what you're wanting to do, go check out that video. The way cPanel works, it creates a subdomain for that add-on domain regardless. So that's why it's in here. But right now, I'm just going to create a subdomain. It's completely different than an add-on domain. So you can see the example cPanel uses is blog.example.com. Okay, so I can create this. And I can also use a subdomain to redirect. So if I wanted to redirect, you know, blog at namehero.com to namehero.com slash blog, I could do that too. So a subdomain can be used for redirection. All kinds of different purposes you can use subdomains for. Now, I guess before I do add this, one important thing you want to make sure that you're using these name servers here, you know, that's got your um, hosting account connected. If you're using a third-party DNS provider, such as Cloudflare, such as EasyDNS or um, whatnot, um, this is not going to set up automatically. You would have to go in and make some modifications manually inside of Cloudflare. So if your name servers are, you know, something at dot .cloudflare, um, then you're going to have to set it up inside of their panel. And I'll save that for another video. Um, I highly suggest using our name servers though because it keeps everything super simple and this is going to happen in real time automatically versus having to log into Cloudflare um, and then go add the proper DNS records because since your DNS is hosted right here with us, it automatically is created. If it's not and it's the Cloudflare easy DNS, you have to manually input those values. Okay, so with that out of the way, which I'm using keydiets.com, I am using our name servers, I can create my subdomain. So let's just say I wanted to do blog. I would just type in the subdomain name. 
So this is going to be whatever is in front of your domain. So it's just the sub part of it, not the whole domain. Domain is key diets. Now you'll notice a drop down because I have an add on domain. I could create it at website a.com, which was an add on domain I added. And I can also create a subdomain of a subdomain. So if I wanted to have like blog dot for this example, website a.keydiets.com, I could. Um, you know, I don't know how much sense that really makes, but some people do do it for whatever reason, but it is possible. But I'm going to keep it at key diets. Next is a document root. So this is where all your files are going to live for the subdomain. Now you'll notice slash blog is what it puts. Now if I have a folder that's already blog, that's not going to work out because we're going to have a conflict. So you know, make sure you're not using whatever folder you're going to be putting it in. And you can easily see this by going to your file manager. You can see here, these are the folders that's in use. And, and you know, we don't have blogs, so that's appropriate. And you'll kick an error if you do, but I just like to you know, put that out there, that you want to use a folder that's not currently in use. So I'm just going to click Create. And blog.keydiets.com has been created. All right, so now if we are to go to blog in our browser, you'll see it's still giving us a, um, a sorry not found because it's got to propagate. So that's something that we need to keep in mind as we're doing subdomains is that still has to propagate globally. Same with the SSL. It will have to have time to run and install. So you're going to see that uh, default website um, until that is generated. So I always say, you know, since we are using our name servers and we just set it up, give it about um, an hour and you should see it. But allow up to 24 hours for it to all propagate, for your SSL to install, because, um, you know, it is important that all that happens, um, you know, together and keeps it um, simple for you. Now, once the subdomain is added, though, if you wanted to redirect this, so if I wanted just to, you know, make blog.keydiets.com redirect to Key Diets, I could go to Manage Redirection and insert it into here. You know, if I had a blog set up or wanted to send it elsewhere, I could just type it in here and save it. Now, if I don't, if I wanted to use the blog as an actual, you know, website or a subsection website, I can do that too. So first off, you know, if I go to File Manager, you'll see that folder was created called Blog. So anything I put inside of this folder is going to be reflected. Now, I'd say most people that are creating a subdomain, we're likely going to use WordPress in some fashion or another. So you can even install a completely separate copy of WordPress here. So let me show you how to do that. If I go to WordPress here, you'll see I already have two copies installed for Key Diets and Website Aid. I can install another one now for blog.keydiets.com. So I can easily um, you know, put another copy of WordPress inside of there. And again, if you I've got a video on how to install WordPress with Softactus, because I'm not going to go through all these options right now. But basically, I could set up an independent install of my main site right here. So to make sure my admin username and password are strong, these automatically do fill in. I can select the theme if I'd like. Click Install. And just take a few seconds, and I'll have a whole other fresh copy of WordPress. Boom. Now, I don't think I've propagated yet, but may, oh, there we go. So now it's working. I don't get the error. So, you know, I said probably in an hour. In my case, what? In two minutes, you know, it started propagating. Sometimes it's quicker than others, but as long as you're using our DNS. Now, again, if I had third party DNS, my name servers were not the ones listed in your hosting package, you're going to run into have to do some manual work. But since I'm using my name servers, it's all automatic. So, this is now completely different than my main blog. So, if I go to this dashboard, you can see I don't have the plugins and everything because it's a whole different site. And to show you, let's just change the theme to 2020, just so I can show you the difference. There we go. Activated. So now you can see blog.keydiets looks like this, and then just key diets looks like this. So, you know, it's a lot, it's a completely different site. You'll function completely differently. Still has the SSL, so you get the free and automatic SSL certificate. And yeah, I'm really impressed how fast that ran too. As soon as it propagated, it ran as well. So, um, you know, really cool to have that. So now I can, um, you know, build a whole other website, a subdomain of my site. Back in the late 90s, people would actually use subdomains as different websites. So, you know, back then domain names were really expensive and people would like buy one, but then they would create multiple websites on a single domain. Nowadays, it's not so much the case because domains are so affordable. 
Um, but it is great to set up a you know a separate um, blog or separate subsection of your site. Um, this is great for um, if you're doing a holiday sale or coupon discounts, you know, to have a whole separate section dedicated to that. The last thing I'll show is you can create a email account on the subdomain as well as I mentioned. But if I go, I'll show you here. If we go to email account and click create, you can see I got a drop down now for that blog. So you know, if I had a whole different staff for my blog, they could have a specific email. So like even at Name Hero, we could do like you know blogger name dot or at blog.namehero.com, which would separate it from general at namehero.com email. So you know, I think that's a pretty cool feature. And again, it, since I'm using the name servers, it automatically sets up. If you're using third-party DNS, you'd have to configure that MX record. But again, I'll save that for another video. So that's how subdomains work. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Just um, you know, going in and adding them, making sure you give that DNS time to propagate. Same with that SSL certificate. Um, I always say, you know, allow for 24 hours. In our case, everything was cool in about two minutes, um, but I am in really close proximity to the servers and all that here um, at Name Hero's office. But um, you know, allow for 24 hours if something's not as intended. You know, at first, if you get one of these default pages or whatnot, don't freak out. Give it 24 hours. It should disappear on its own. And if it doesn't, feel free to reach out to support. But let us know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, you know, I certainly appreciate a big thumbs up on it. You know, it lets me know that, hey, you know, this content was really valuable. It helps people. Um, and I need to do more of it. Um, and obviously, if you have not yet subscribed, click that uh, red subscribe button. It should be in, the, I think, the lower left or your lower right if you're watching it. Um, of this video. We certainly um, you know, appreciate our subscribers and you get notified when we produce new content or even when we have upcoming sales. You know, you'll get a notice when a new video is out. So it's certainly very beneficial. But thanks so much for watching. Hope this helped you out. We look forward to working with you and furthering a relationship with you at namehero.com.